Lindsay from Kels Reads Things at Anna Porter Public Library in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And I'm very excited today to finally be reviewing with you Written in the Stars, an LGBTQ adult retelling of Pride and Prejudice by Alexandria Bellafleur. I highly recommend this book for lovers of romantic comedies, situational comedy, and for those who love a good love story, especially when opposites attract. Now I'd like to dig into the plot with you. Serious, grounded, and aspiring lawyer Darcy Lowell and quirky, optimistic astrologer L. Jones could not be any more different, which certainly doesn't help them when their blind date ends in disaster. However, Darcy is desperate to get her well-meaning younger brother Brendan off her back about dating and lies to him, ensuring that the date went great. However, this kind of backfires on Darcy when she realizes that Brendan is currently in the process of uh, merging his company with Elle's, which is the Oh My Stars business Twitter account she uses for her astrology readings. Elle finds out about the really good date and decides to confront Darcy, asking, why did you tell your brother was it when this was a great date when clearly it did not end up well for the two of us? Darcy explains her situation and Elle reluctantly agrees to uh, pretend to be dating Darcy to appease Brendan as well as to appease her own family and to get them off each other's backs at least until the holidays are over. But could this pretend relationship lead to more? Could these two fundamentally different women learn that there is more to each of them and learn that they become even stronger together? Find out by reading Alexandria Bellaflor's Written in the Stars. This is a great book also to read during the holidays as it is set around uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Okay, so that was the basic plot of this adorable quirky book. Um, I will say that it is an adult LGBTQ book. Of course, it is not my job to tell you what to read or what is appropriate to read, but I'd like to go ahead and let my readers know up front some things that they should expect from this book. Some other things that you should know before reading, um, there's a lot of adult language and of course adult situations. It's a modern retelling of Pride and Prejudice with an LGBTQ quit twist. Um, great for the holiday seasons. It's set in Seattle, Washington, and there's a lot of modern language and pop culture throughout the book. So if you're not very familiar with much pop culture, at least in today's standards, then it might not be as entertaining. Some things that I really loved about this book include the adorable and hilarious storyline about how these two women who are just fundamentally different turn out to see that there is more not necessarily in common, but more that, that they can gain from each other. And that was really cool to see how the relationship grew and developed from being complete strangers on a disastrous blind date to being who they end up being together. The writing style was really modern, which I liked and appreciated. Um, there was a lot of sweet and also spicy romantic scenes. So you should know about that and lots of Harry Potter references. So if you're like me, grew up loving Harry Potter, then you'll appreciate the uh, little Harry Potter references throughout the book and the characters end up loving it, I think as much as every millennial child did. So that was really awesome. I also just for aesthetic, I love the cover. I think it's perfect for the themes and the plot of the book. It's just really really pretty so more than anything I think the cover it was is what drew my attention to this book and then when I found out it was an LGBTQ retelling of Pride and Prejudice I had to read it and honestly I prefer it to the original story I really enjoyed every single character Darcy and Elle both I think were really fleshed out and very well written and I enjoyed both characters and the people that they were surrounded with including their friends and their families I will say some of the family members I was not as big of a fan of but if you're familiar with Pride and Prejudice I'm sure you can follow my drift Overall, this was an adorable story, an adorable retelling, and it was very enjoyable to read during the holidays. In fact, I liked it so much I bought it for myself and I plan to reread it again during holiday season this year. 
Thank you for watching my book review today. I look forward to eventually discussing with you The Bookish Life of Nina Hill. And I don't quite remember the author right at this time, but I, of course, will discuss that with you in my next book review video. Thank you for subscribing, and please feel free to offer book suggestions for me in the future. I always read those, and it always gives me something intriguing to look forward to. Thank you once again, and have a wonderful Thursday.